guys, I'm Rachel Henderson and welcome back to my channel. Now, one of my favourite, favourite materials I love to work with in my studio is this stuff, t-shirt yarn. It's 100% recycled and I think that's why I love it so much. So what is t-shirt yarn? T-shirt yarn is factory offcuts of textile production that have been made into one continuous length of yarn. It comes in so many wonderful colours and there are so many cool projects you can make with it. But did you know you can also make your very own yarn using old t-shirts? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. And I'm also going to introduce a super easy and fun project that you can make with your t-shirt yarn. So here it goes. Lay your jersey fabric onto a flat surface and cut off the bottom section. Now remove the hemmed edge on your jersey fabric. Fold the left side over to the right side and leave a gap of about 1 inch at the top. Start to cut into the folded edge and continue to do so all the way across, leaving about a 1.5cm gap in between each cut. Unfold your jersey fabric and give it a little shake to loosen all of the loops. Slide your left arm, or right if you're left handed, under all of the loops. Working diagonally, start to cut each strip of fabric. Continue to do so until all loops have been cut. Now start to roll up your fabric, pulling and stretching as you go to create one long piece of yarn. If you have any labels, make sure you remove them at this stage. We're going to be using t-shirt yarn for this project. This type of yarn has been made from material that would have otherwise been discarded by factories. It's essentially offcuts of clothing production that has been turned into yarn, so it's therefore 100% recycled, making it such a lovely sustainable material to work with. For this project you will need a few different colours of t-shirt yarn. I have used Hooked Zappaghetti, but there are lots of other brands of t-shirt yarn on the market. In terms of tools, it's vital that you have a sharp pair of scissors to hand for this project, because the yarn can be really tricky to cut at times. I've also used an embroidery needle in this project, as it makes the process of attaching all of your tassels to your yarn hanger a little bit easier. Other materials you will need include a template for your tassel. Make sure when creating a tassel template that you use thick corrugated cardboard. Otherwise the cardboard will bend and it will make it a bit difficult for you to wrap your yarn around. You will also need some strong double knitting yarn. You could use wool or cotton. I've plaited some long lengths together to make it even more stronger so that it definitely won't fall apart when you hang it onto your wall. Cut three lengths of yarn measuring 1.5 metres and tie a double knot at the end to secure. Tape to a flat surface and tightly plait them all together. 
I always like to make my hanging device slightly longer than I need it to be to ensure that there is definitely going to be enough yarn to attach all of the tassels onto. Now make a slip knot at both ends of your hanging device. Loosely knot them in case you need to shorten later. It's now time to make your colourful tassels. Start to wrap your t-shirt yarn around your cardboard template. Do this nice and loosely to avoid your template from bending. You will find that t-shirt yarn comes in all different sizes and thicknesses. For thin yarn, wrap it around 30 times. For medium yarn, wrap it around 25 times. And for thick yarn, wrap it around 15 to 20 times. Now take a double length of double knitting yarn, carry under all of your top loops, tie in a double knot to secure and cut off any excess yarn. Remove your t-shirt yarn from the template and cut through all bottom loops. Tie a 30cm length of t-shirt yarn around the top of your tassel, secure with a knot and then wrap around. Continue to do so, then secure at the back with another tight knot. Now give your tassel a little trim to neaten up the bottom edges. Position your tassel where you would like to attach it. Using your embroidery needle and double knitting yarn, work a few over stitches. Carry the thread under the top of your tassel and then back around your hanging device. Repeat this process 10 times and cut away any excess yarn. At this point, you might like to decide on a colourway before attaching all of your tassels to their hanging device. When attaching each tassel, make sure you leave about a 6 to 8 cm gap in between each one. Cut the hanging device if required at the ends and create another slip knot. And there you have it, a gorgeous, vibrant, recycled yarn garland that will be sure to brighten up and add lots of joy to your home. I really hope that you enjoyed this video today. If you did so, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, just pop them in the box below. Hope to see you soon.